Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. We got another sensational scandalous story or you might say mm, trying to get some money back into the pockets. Uh, that's how I would put it. But we're going to be talking about today NeNe Leakes and Tiffany Pollard of Love New York or something to that degree uh, when New York or she likes to be called New York but Tiffany Pollard had her show um airing on i forgot what station it was um but we knew her as love new york or something like that uh with flavor Flav, and he had his little show i don't forgot what it was called but she made history with him and then she started having um other little spinoff shows one i can't remember Ooh, it was with uh, some bad girls club or something like that then it was something else she was involved in. But Tiffany has definitely been seen. And, and to me, she was like the first one in reality TV show that really took off for ratchetness. And then there was NeNe Leakes. But hey, it just is what it is in my eyes anyway. But I got this uh, commentary I'm coming to you with from it's uh, BoloVip dot com b o l a v i p dot com and they're talking about the celebrity big brother uh show and it being aired next month i think february the second to be exact and that nene leaks and tiffany pollard are supposed to be like the showstoppers on that show but when i was doing some digging and you remember y'all remember her from T.S. Madison's show, Queen's the Supreme, Queen Supreme Court, or something to that degree. They made magic happen, but, you know, I guess greed took over, and you see where they are now. But, um, rumors being leaked out there about these two uh, having a show, or being on the show, Celebrity Big Brother 2022 cast. And I really didn't hear anything about Nene Leaks when I was reading this particular article that this um, site had brought out. Gossip site or gossip commentary where they release information on has been celebrities, wannabe celebrities. And it just is what it is. Because I always saw Big Brother dancing with the stars. Um, what do you call it? The What do you call it? The mass Singer were past... Uh, artists that were in the music industry or in the theater however but they had a musical talent that they could sing um, I just saw them as just has-beens you know their career went for so they it went so far and then they you know it composed them to the uh, skies and stars and then it kind of dropped them back down depending on what they found themselves in in Hollywood okay trying to climb that uh, that ladder too fast and you, you miss some steps and you come tumbling back down and it seems like really Tiffany or New York didn't really have a big fall because she's always kept her ratchetness intact and, and followed suit and always was that person in and out through and through I um, thing you had to worry about was her mama because her mama was crazy Whew. Hey, Tiffany Pollock mama they ain't got nothing on her Meaning, um, Mama Joyce and uh, Dennis McKinley mom, Mama Gina, they ain't got nothing on uh, Tiffany Pollard mom. Sha, I plead, they'll probably want to run the other way themselves. But it is what it is. And, you know, uh, when I say it's like for has-beens or kind of retired stars, or they haven't been out there in a while, they haven't been getting much work, and it's trying to, and they're trying to revive their career and maybe their PR people or their talent people that manage them, they're just trying to get them out there to circulate, to be seen in another light than what they were in prior. And hopefully they can get some revenue for them, some added in added income to whatever they're already being, you know, led to be living on anyway. But, um... You no, know, to be fair, I ain't going to say has been Because sometimes you just want to get out because you're tired of the everyday ins and outs of the industry. What you have to do to make it in the industry and the ropes and the hoops and the uh, monkey bars. You got to kind of uh, swing through to get what you feel is yours. Which is always going to be at the lower end of the scale because you don't have that kind of money to be dishing out. And... The elite always have the money, so they call the shots. 
So it was like, you know, we never really knew anything of Candy Burris uh, at one time until she got back on the real, well, until she got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because she was with Escape, and you know, Escape, you knew the real singers of that group, and then you knew the background singers. Just here with a deal. And Candy, um, by her being on the platform of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and people knew her from Escape, just that and the third, and writing music for other artists in the business and things of that nature. And just pretty much been a, a, a all around good working person that had good work ethics, and people really enjoyed working for her. Uh, she found herself getting into other avenues by being on the platform of Real Housewives of Atlanta and being able to do other things to supplement her already income, but having other uh, other in income revenue streams. So she got on Big Brother, her and Tamar, because Tamar was actually, Tamar Braxton, she, they, she was actually going through a divorce at the time. And her husband, I don't forgot, he was biting on her. She had so many domestic issues with him, allegedly, uh, Vincent Herbert. And it was just too much. So she ended up winning the Celebrity Apprentice. I'm not Celebrity Apprentice, but Celebrity Big Brother. Um, that year, her and Candy and some other people had uh, participated in the show. So I was kind of happy for her because she needed some more income because she was really going to have to be looking out for her son herself because Vince, her ex-husband, was his income was kind of shaky at the time. So I was happy that she won because Candy already had money and she already had the show of being on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I tell you, that's one show I would love to see Tamar on. I don't know why she won't get on it. It's the Real Housewives of Atlanta because she has all the chemistry to be a forerunner in the presence of the already cast that they do have, minus, uh, what's her name, um, uh, damn, uh, Drew Sador, she don't need to be there, hopefully, um, um, Richard Ross would definitely give us something to look at, and hopefully Marlo Hampton won't fall to the side, she'll just keep bringing it and giving us more drama, we ain't even gonna talk about Kenya, cause she already solidified herself, she's a, a, a staple in there, and we wanna keep her, okay, but the rest, uh, I don't know, but just going back to the cast members, from what I've read, and we're going to go on and get into it, uh, the only five confirmed members, and this was just dated January 18th of this year, was, um, let me see, well, it was Tiffany Pollard, she's definitely going to be on Celebrity Big Brother. It mentioned no name of Nene Leake. So I don't know where they got it from. Maybe she's a wild card. They're thinking about bringing in. Because they definitely need more than five people. Uh, and then they just start eliminating them. And that, you know, that would be the deal. You have Vanilla Ice. Remember Ice, Ice Baby? He's a confirmed candidate to be on the show. Todrick Hall. He's uh, that black choreographer, dancer, uh, videographer. Hangs around, um... Taylor Swift a lot, uh, but y'all would definitely see him, and right, he's right there, that's Todrick Hall, and that's Vanilla Ice, for those who don't know him, in the early 2000s, uh, let me see, and uh, it's a Camilla Monron, or something like that, she's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend, you remember the guy that played in Titanic and many, yeah, that's him, Le Leonardo DiCaprio and Camilla Monroe. I don't know if they're still dating or together because I did see something when I was reading the article that they're separated or they're no longer seeing each other. And then you had uh, the White House press secretary, uh, Sean Spicer, running around now performing on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Uh, and his little cute, uh, I don't know, flamingo outfit, tropical outfit, <laughs> when he was parading around on that particular show, uh, getting his, um, I guess, popularity back up. I don't know, because I don't know how you go from the White House to the street house, <laughs> the entertainment field. Have no idea, but yes, here we have him. So those are the confirmed people that are on the show and they supposed to say they're bringing in that Shakara Richardson which is a track star with the long nails kind of looking like Flojo out there back in the day but the one that was winning all the time and then she started losing and people started giving her bad rap or whatnot um she was supposed to be in there um like I said it was a rumor that Nene Leakes is supposed to come aboard and be a part of the cast and it was somebody else but I can't think of it I think it was Neo 
uh, the artist and um, what is his name? Uh, Chloe Kardashian's um, uh, crazy boyfriend, husband at the time, Lamar Odom. He's supposed to be a part of the the cast. So we will see. We will see. But we're going to get into this article. Um, it I guess it was okay. It was Natalie LeBeau. She wrote it out for her company. Um, Bolivip dot com. The title is Celebrity Big Brother 2022 Cast. These five celebrities will be confirmed. New rumors talk about the five celebrities who reportedly have signed a deal to be in the third season of Celebrity Big Brother USA, which premieres on February the 2nd. Here, check out who they are. Okay, it's been months of rumors, but apparently fans have confirmation about five Celebrity Big Brother Season 3 house guests. Fans have been speculating about who would join the cast for the season. And it seems they will have a favorite on board for the challenge of winning the prize money. There are numerous social media accounts dedicated to the art of the spoiler. And frankly, with CBS being quiet about everything regarding season three, it's totally understandable that fans want any kind of information they can get. Among the wild rumors regarding a possible lineup, there has been several names such as Kevin Jonas, Richard Hatch, Brandy Glanville, and more. However, it seems like there are five names who will make the cast, according to the spoiler Twitter account at BB Detective Dan. Here, check who are, who they are. Okay, take this with a grain of salt, but it has been a rumor for months, and now BB Detective Dan has confirmed that the great Tiffany Pollard will be a contestant this season of Celebrity Big Brother. The reality TV star already participated in the UK version of the show in 2016 and she became a Mimi of iconic death, David is Death announcement. Another name who will be part of the cast according to the same um, outlet person is none other than the rapper, actor, television host Vanilla Ice. Another big name that will be competing in the show is singer-songwriter and choreographer Todrick Hall, who's also Taylor Swift's bestie, as well as he does and he does know and has worked with Candy Burris in the past as well. And I think Tamar Braxton knows him a lot too, so he's really known in the music industry as well as the theater. Okay, um, but things can get better or worse, it depends. Model Camilla Monroe, who also happens to be Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend, will also participate according to Detective Dan. And the fifth celebrity that will be competing in the show is former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. What do you think about this news? We'll have to wait to see if these rumors are indeed true. And see, like I said, you read, you heard what I read. Nene name never came above. In the circulation, but you know, from me just reading online, some people were speculating that Neo Shakari Harrison or Shakari Richardson, I'm sorry, and uh, Neely Leakes and Lamar Odom might be a part of the cast. Uh, I think it would be a good way for Nene to get back out there with her so called celebrity stars or reality stars. And try to make some more contacts. But Nene, you need to keep that mouth closed. You know, you don't say what you really want to say. Because your foot's not in the door. Everybody's giving you second, third, fourth chances. Don't blow it. Or find yourself on over there, you and Portia Williams. If y'all going to continue to get the big head to Zeus Networks. Or at least talk to Jocelyn Hernandez and see how she's faring over there. Okay? Got it? Good. So, uh, I'm okay if I had to say you know to give an opinion or nini should be on the show i think it's pretty much past her time to be on something like big brother because i think i didn't make just me me and my old thinking i just think that's a young type show uh for people like vanilla ice um shoot you could put ja rule in there too um people that have been struggling with their music career it hasn't been like it was in the past um those type of artists you would want us to come back and see Angie Stone. I think she was on Big Brother Celebrity. She was on one of them. Um, let's see. That's Tiffany Pollard's mom girl. She like she would possess. Every time I see her, she looks like she possessed. But it's, it is what it is. Tiffany seemed to be handling her well. Because uh, she still keep getting opportunities. And people like Tiffany. You know. Um, people like those things. I, hell, I would like to see the uh, Escape Sisters on it. 
but I don't know how their manager, their talent manager, or their PR person goes out and scout jobs for them on according to what they say they want to do. Okay? And shoot, I would like to see Wendy Williams on there to tell you the truth if she ever get back, you know, okay. That'll be another stepping stone for her to step out and move in another direction. Maybe she can just produce. You don't necessarily have to be out in the forefront dropping the tea. But just be behind the scenes and make that kind of money. But, you know, when you're used to being in the camera, you're used to it being just you and your thing, your show. You get the big head and you just want everything to be centered around you. Meaning you're the spokesperson for whatever brand you're trying to bring out. Just like the president is the president, but he don't make all the rules. They have to even go to Congress. You know, Congress veto what he probably want to do. It, or It's just a hot mess. You know, and then the Supreme Court getting involved is a really hot mess. So, sometimes you just have to be a sp spokesperson with no really real powers at all. But, it just is what it is. So, to say that, to say this, like I said, I really haven't found no proof that any leaks is giving the golden ticket to come on and uh, revive her career or let us see another side of her and see what she can do this go around. Uh, can she keep her mouth shut? Can she just go in and they get her a salary and she's okay with it and just stop trying to boycott and put industries on blast because as you can see it didn't work for you when you were doing it with Bravo. Okay, and don't think they hadn't been looking. They haven't been asking about you and this then and third and maybe meeting with you and seeing how you come across when we're talking about dollars and cents when we're talking about position and power and the outlook of their show and you're not trying to claim it as your own so you know she has a lot to think about and a lot to navigate through as far as nini i'm um, speaking of when it comes to opportunities such as this would i want to see her on a show like this not really but if she needs the money and she's going to play in the sandbox nicely. Then sure, go ahead. See what you can do. Because you're going to be mostly around a lot of young people. And they're going to try to weed you out. And can you handle that? You know, I don't know. I don't think you can. But it just is what it is. Fool me. Make me be wrong. Prove me wrong. <coughs> but that's all I have of this particular video. Trying to find the truth out there. To see if Nene actually is trying to be on another show. Uh, putting more money in her pocket, but she's supposed to be dating a millionaire. I don't know what these folks, these celebrity reality stars going around here, talking about they marrying a millionaire, just standing third, then they ain't got no jobs themselves, or they give up their jobs and thinking some man gonna take care of them. I'm like, oh, honey, whoo, child, what happened to the feminist act to a certain degree? Because I don't agree with all of the feminist acts, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. We ain't even talking about that. I don't have a, a real good take on it to give a real good lecture or speak my piece on it. Because I'm, I'm, when the feminists act, I'm like, I don't like all that. Because I ain't saying I'm finna do everything a man can do because I know my body type. And I know the Lord made the man first. Then he made the man for one man out of real. But you see what I'm saying? So it ain't like we supposed to be going around here building houses and picking up, you know, uh, uh, pieces of construction. See, man, and all buy my these big old truck, climbing up the, the uh, telegram pole, fixing lights and shit. No, okay, but I ain't with you know standing home with the babies, and I had to depend on you for some income. I, you know, so I'm kind of torn between two, okay. But I ain't no he man, I ain't Hulk out there. But then I ain't no uh, you know, uh, baby lamb either. Think you're gonna walk all over me, you know. So it's it's just is what it is. Where you are on the spectrum of that movement, okay. But it is what it is. I will see y'all next video. Like, share, and, and, and um, and what I want y'all to do. <laughs> I want y'all to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so all right already. Okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Get on over there. You know I don't drop one. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.